Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kellen here from Start Your Systems, and welcome to MTX Moto Tracks Career Mode. We are going to do a long series here on the channel where we dive back into an 18 year old game that I talk about a ton. Uh, as you guys have probably heard recently in some of my Supercross the video game musings, I mentioned this game a lot and how awesome the career mode and everything about this game was. And so I felt like I should put my money where my mouth is a little bit and show off this game. Uh, it's old now, obviously, so physically it'll look a little weird, graphically it'll look a little weird, but the career mode is one of the best that we've ever had in a motocross game. So I felt like I just needed to dive back in and check it out, kind of relive it a little bit as well. So I'm actually very excited to do this uh, and just kind of have fun with it. So I'll start off with a new career mode. Uh, I'll go into information here. Looks like we do rider name first. So go ahead and put my name in. So that we have that done. And I apologize that I'm gonna be a little bit slow with some of this stuff. I'm going from keyboard to controller with a lot of this stuff. Uh, but we'll put my last name on the jersey. Sorry, again, taking forever. Got that. Jersey number, we'll go with uh, 152. Complete there, we're done. And there was a lot of stuff that you could do in this game back in the day, so information. Uh, but for head, I mean, I don't know, let's see. Which which head looks like a good head to choose? I, I, I don't know, any one of these? Some of them are very funky looking. <laughs> um, I feel like I just have like pretty generic looking face. I don't know, something like that? Maybe, let's do that one, that one looks good. Uh, for hair, do I wanna go crazy or do I wanna do something that's similar to what I would rock in real life yeah i don't think i would rock that oh should we go the mullet oh how about a mullet that's looking pretty sweet maybe just like a white mullet purple mullet uh, i don't know uh let's do a blue mullet i think that looks pretty good so looking solid here for goggles we just can ch uh, select the generic ones right now so we'll just go with red Back out of that, and for our helmet, another generic one as well, but there's two versions. We'll go with version A, and we'll also go with red on that one. And yeah, looks good. All right, so I think we're dialed there. And I, oh, I remember this too, there's a street outfit and a racing outfit, because there was a lot of like freestyle aspects to this game as well. So we'll select a street outfit here. What do we got for a tank top? Just a generic tank top? Mm, I don't know if we want to rock the tank. How about a sweatshirt? Maybe more sweatshirt. Oh, only Puma's available, but we can't select it just yet. Uh, short sleeve jersey, we could do that. Uh, or we could just do the t-shirt. I think we'll just rock the t-shirt for right now. Um, let's go, uh, man, there's a lot of color options here. Let's go with a camo, let's go with a camo pink. Oh, and we can uh, select the logo that we want on here as well. Gosh, I don't know. There's so many different logos. Look at all the companies involved in this game. Tons of them. Some throwback ones as well. Let's rock a Sobe logo. Looking solid. Um, so we got our shirt sorted. Gloves. Uh, gonna need some gloves, I feel like. Um, let's uh, let's stick with the, the blue hair theme there with the gloves. We'll go blue gloves. Uh, for pants, got riding shorts, riding pants, baggy pants, baggy shorts, sweatpants, but again, they're only Pumas that are available. What do we got for baggy shorts? Oh, there you go. Should we just do like a jeans? Yeah, baggy shorts with jeans. There we go. Looking solid. Knee pads. Yes or no? Do we want them? I guess we, we need them to cover up the knees, right? And last but not least, we got boots. I uh, can only rock the generic boots right now, but uh, let's stick with the, uh, the blue theme for the hair. Go with some blue boots. Nice. Solid look. All right, racing outfit. We'll continue there. Again, it looks like we only get to choose like, you know, a, a standard jersey. Oh, we could do a short sleeve jersey, but we'll just do a regular riding jersey here. Um, a lot of different color options. I like that yellow though. That yellow looks pretty cool. So we'll go with the yellow jersey, gloves. Go with uh, some yellow gloves to match that. Or should we go, let's go red gloves, right? Dean Wilson look alike right there. Solid pants. Do the riding pants again, um, and we'll go we'll match it with the top there, so we'll go with the yellow. It's a good look, actually, honestly, with the yellow right there. Knee pads, yes or no, but it doesn't matter. Well, I guess they stick outside, so we'll, we'll do no. And boots, last but not least, generic. Um, yeah, all white. Why not? Rock that. All right. Solid look. We're going to start the If you think you're ready to compete, now's your chance to prove it. You're on a team and all set to take your first steps in real competition. Here's your PDA. It lets you keep in contact with your team, sponsors, and choose what events you want to do. 
Uh, you can look at your bike, riding gear, and make changes you want for the next time you ride. There's an email from your team manager waiting for you. There we go. All right. So, uh, welcome, Kellen Brower. Hey there, rookie. You've done well enough to get onto a team, so let's see how far you can go. We're a new team that is looking to hit the big time. I want to see dirt riders hitting the headlines as soon as possible. We've arranged for a trip to for you to go to Travis Pastrana's compound. Here's an old friend of mine, or he's an old friend of mine. I've asked him to show you uh, how to handle the racing in the big leagues. Once you've got to visit him, you'll have your racing gear ready, and you can see how you can stand up against racers out there. If you think you're ready, go straight to the races. Nigel Rain, team manager. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's go to Pastrana's compound, and I'm sure there's more dialogue here, so let's see. Hey, I'm glad you could make it. Let me give you a quick tour before we get started. All right. There's my house over there, and down the hill's the garage. There's a foam pit over there that I use for practicing tricks. I have a moto track that goes through the trees over here. Riding that really helps me get ready for the race series. Man, I've got ramps set up all over this place. Most of them are set up with some really soft, easy landings so you can practice the tricks for the freestyle competitions. Hey, whenever you're ready, meet me down at the start gate of the motocross track, and we'll see how well you handle real racing. So this is awesome, right? Like, it's a video game that has Travis Pastrana telling you all about how to play the game. Uh, you get to ride Travis Pastrana's house, you get to pop wheelies down his driveway. Uh, a foam pit, there's a bunch of freestyle stuff, there's objectives. I mean, it's it's a very, very in-depth story mode. Uh, oh, forgot what the brakes were. <laughs> Um, all right, so it uh, looks like we are hitting S to start a new objective. This is a cool little training track I set up. All the features you find in a real race event, complete with a start gate and a finish line. All right. After the 30-second board goes sideways, there's a 2-5 to five second pause before the gate drops. Don't jump the gun. To get a burst of speed off the line, lean forward by pushing up and hit the gas when you see the signal go. Every race event starts this way, so practice this technique until you can do it perfect every time. All right, so he's teaching us how to do starts. Holding the clutch in and launch out of the gate. Wasn't the best start, but let's see if we can still beat him to the line. He got the whole shot, but now we're just doing this training race. Yeah, yacht off of this jump right there. Come up a little bit short. And I mean, honestly, for 2004, which by the way, like if you never lived through this, the games that we had back then were a lot of fun, and physically they were not like awful games, but this was like a pretty big step up, I feel like, for physics way back in 2004. Um, and honestly, nowadays still kind of looks really sweet, like the kind of in-air physics look awesome. You'll see when we get to the trick portions, like how awesome the tricks are, like do a little heel clicker right there. I mean, it's just a well put together game, like real well oiled machine really, right? And I'm gonna let your team manager know that you have some racing skills. Feel free to hang out for a while. There's still plenty you haven't found around here. Man, you think you can beat me twice? I'll race you again, but you're gonna have to catch me first. See ya. Okay, all right, so I guess I gotta catch Pastrana again. But there's also a bunch of stuff to do. There's obviously the uh, the PDA as well, which we can check out right here. And uh, see there's like events and stuff that we can go to, but I'm not ready to go there just yet. So in this PDA, there's a you know a list of statistics, other things that we've done in the game. I mean, like look at look at how many different statistics we can go through and look through here. Sponsors. This is where they got this game so right. You can go through and look at all the sponsors that are available in this game, and eventually they will reach out to you and ask you to be part of their program. Really cool. You got a trick book as well, which kind of shows you how to do each trick. So like, if you do this one, it says yeah, look, it's uh, up and A. Superman is down in A. Knack Knack uh, is the other one that we have right now. It's left in A, but all these are kind of like assigned on my controller already. Coffin was down in S. Okay, so I got to figure out how to assign S. And then Bar Hop is up in S. And then left. Okay, so Coffin will be down in that one. All right, so I, we'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, we'll save the game real quick so that I have it saved right off the get-go here. And then we'll go explore Pastrana's compound a little bit more here for this first episode before we jump into the racing side of it. So we'll go ahead and back out. Objectives, though. There is a ton of objectives to do. You got jump 200 feet, wheelie 400 feet, a lot of stuff that we haven't unlocked yet, but we got to go around the map and find people. Uh, so let's uh, let's just start doing it, right? Let's uh, first try to bust that uh, long wheelie. So 400 feet, which I think it keeps track of your wheelies, too. So we'll pop it up. Yeah, there you go. And then this is just slowly keeping the throttle going. So we got to get a 400-foot wheelie. We're at 250, just cruising right along. And 400 feet. Now put it down. Nailed it. Got it done. All right, what's over here? 
I always forget the break is the uh, button, not the actual top there. All right, here we go. New objective. Hey, kid. I'll give you five bucks for every lap you ride a wheelie around this bus. To pull a wheelie, lean back and tap the gas. When the front wheel's up, tap the gas to keep the wheelie up. Steer the wheelie by leaning left and right. To stop, just let go of the gas or lean forward by pushing up. All right, so our old guy Cam here telling us to pop wheelies around the bus. So we're going to spin some laps around the bus. He says we get $5 for every wheelie that we pull. So, you know, that, that money will come in handy. We'll be able to buy us some Taco Bell after this. So we're going to swing around the bus here. So that's one lap. I don't know how many laps he wants us to do, but uh, I guess just go until we're bored of it. I don't know. We're just spinning laps around the bus here. So checkpoint two. Uh, two laps. I, I don't know. How many laps does he want us to do? Are we going to be here all day just spinning laps around the bus? I don't know if I want to do this the whole time. Oh, oh, the wheelie's done. All right. <laughs> you won some of my cash. Cool. I'll bet you can do more, though. Try it again. So we won $10, but I don't really care to uh, continue on, so we'll go find something else to do. What else is around this compound? So first of all, foam pit over here. Very, very cool. Let's try to do a trick up into the foam pit. Nice. Nailed it. The trick spot's completed. I don't know what that means, though, because is this one of the trick spots? Nice. All right, so we're just doing... Oh, okay, I see what it said. It said down left for a scorpion. There we go. Nailed it. Did it count? Yeah, okay, so we got a trick spot completed. There we go. Uh, there's more objectives to find around here, though, so I want to go search around a little bit. See if we can find wherever Pastrano went to because he wanted us to do another race as I'm just going to plow the tree. And we also needed to jump 200 feet. I don't know where there's a jump that I can hit that's 200 feet. It seems like a pretty big jump. Oh, who we got over here? Someone doing some tricks. Let's turn, turn. <laughs> the freestyler. Oh, it's Kenny Bartram. Come here, Kenneth. I'm trying to catch him. He's pulling away from me. Bar hop. There hey, we. man. Travis tells me you know a couple simple tricks. Well, I'm going to teach you a few more. This basic course will help you get used to the rhythm of freestyle. Copy what I do. All right. Kenny Bartram, classic. It's showing us how to uh, do some tricks. So we can't let him get too far away, and we've got to do some of the tricks that he, he is telling us to do here. So what are we doing? Start off with we got a bar hop. So simple enough. Nail that. Keep up with him though, because he's cruising along pretty well here. Shaolin. There we go. Nice. Remember when freestyle was this awesome though? It just felt like everything was like so cool. Double heel clicker, nailed it. Now what's next? What do we got? Rodeo air. Yeah. Three times. That was pretty cool. Why not see if you can rack up some serious points? Practice your freestyle tricks, and if you do well enough, Travis may get you into a real event. Oh, man. Travis going to get me into a real event? All right, let's go over here a little bit. Is there anything? Oh, there's these big jumps. This is maybe where we can do the 200-foot jumps. Who's this guy standing right here? Kenny Bartram again just waiting for me. Let's look at uh, what do we got for objectives here. So we did a couple more things. Kenny's trick training, all that stuff. Continue on. We'll try to get this 200 foot jump goal here. I think it's possible if I get all the way over this guy, but I'm on a 125. Yeah. It's a big time error. Is that 200 feet? Oh, yeah. Nailed it. It's like a hill climb up to the back side of the house right here. Oh, what's over here? Another person. Oh, yeah. This is the, the hill climb. Hey, what's up, man? At the top of this little hill is Travis's private lagoon. That's where he contemplates life's greatest mysteries. See if you can make it through the two trees at the top. Love it, man. This guy Harry here sounds like he's just like so uh, early 2000s moto. Hey, man. Hey, Travis's private lagoon up here at the top. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we're just trying to make it up this hill climb. Not get stuck along the way. Cruising right along. Oh 
almost up to the top. And got to get through the two trees at the very top right here. Nailed it. Set a record. Nailed it. We got more stuff. Our PDA is flashing at us. Big uh, drop down the hill right there. So what does the PDA want? Hey, Kellen, great news. I talked to guys running the upcoming freestyle competition and I got you in. They know you're an unknown, but I vouch for you. And so did Kenny. Don't let us down, man. Do what you can and bring home the gold. All right, we're going to go to the Butterfinger FMX. Let's do it. Welcome to the land of bathing suit beauties and movie stars for the Butterfinger Breakout FMX of Los Angeles. I'm Cameron Steele, and this is the first stop on the FMX Tour, and I am so pumped to see what new tricks these riders have for us tonight. So throw up your feet and get ready for what should be an exciting night of big air and psychotic tricks. Alright, so I can hit this. Yeah, there we go. Alright, Butterfinger Challenge. Start event. Bust the hoops. <laughs> Interesting objectives. So here we go. How about uh, uh, Cameron Steele as well being a part of this game? Throwback. Cameron Steele was legendary in the early 2000s as well. Busting through these Butterfinger hoops. A oh, little bit short right there. Can we still jump up and get this one? Nice. It's 125. It's like a Team Nami 125. Doesn't have all that much power. We're really trying to make it work here. Nailed it. Four of seven Butterfinger hoops knocked down. Oh, don't hit the top. <laughs> Throw a little fat whip through the side of it there. All right. What do we got? One more hoop left? Yeah. All right. So we're going to hit this ramp and bam. Objective complete. Nice. So what's next? Freestyle trick list. All right, so we got to do these tricks in any order, it says. So we got a Shaolin and a Lazy Boy to start with. There's a Shaolin. All right, got the heel clicker. Lazy Boy is next. Oh, just pulled it back in time. No footed can or let's do a double heel clicker. That one I've already tried before, so I know I can do that. And we can do them in every order or any order that we want. All right, no footed can can is next. Take off. There it is. Superman double grab. Down in AA, it looks like. There we go. Nailed that one. And a whipped knack knack. Just left AA. Oh, I didn't quite bring it back. All right. It's hard, man. Like, you have to click these buttons kind of precise. There it is. Okay. Finally got that one. And cliffhanger, down, up, and S, and then up, down for a backflip. That was a bar hop. There's a cliffhanger. And backflip time. Finally get to learn the backflip. I have to do it before I take off, I guess. There it is. And nailed it. All right, got the backflip done. Look at how quickly we learned how to do a backflip in this game, though. That's nuts. 2004, catch the fever. All right, freestyle competition. So finishing the top three. We're trying to get as many points as possible in this one minute, 30 second run. Start off with a backflip. Good start to the run right there. And we're trying not to repeat tricks, right? Like that's the last thing you want to do. So we'll start off with a nice little knack knack right there. Bring it into a heel clicker. Don't go down. Keep the combo rolling. One footed can can. Got that one done. Trying to do as many combo variables as possible, too. It's so like we can do. There's a Superman. I'll oh, pull it back. No, there goes the combo. Trying to do a. What was that? A, no, one footed can can into a bar hop. Bust out a nice long Shaolin right there. Got to get off this 125 though, man. This thing is barely moving. Little heel clicker. 
backflip. We're getting decent points on the board. Oh, pull it back. Ah. Oh. I had to get a lazy boy, but it didn't quite work. There it is. Pull it back. Okay. Long Shaolin. Up the ante there a little bit. One more jump. No, we're out of time. Better get a backflip off. Only a 56. Ooh, rough first round. Everybody else score. Yeah, yikes. Way at the back. All right, second run, here we go. Points for first, 115, so can't quite get first in this run. Start off with a simple backflip though, get that guy around. Hold a heel clicker for a little while. Bar hop, so up in the score a little bit here early on. Pull out a nice no, long no-footed can-can right there. Double heel clicker, got it back. No, let it, ah, oh, darn, I was trying to get him to let go. All right, let's start over again. Gotta start with the easy tricks first, right? Cause then we level up as it goes on with the upping the bonuses. So if we do like a backflip towards the end, we get a, a huge bonus. Can can. A little bar hop busted through there for three times. Alright, now let's go with some bigger trip tricks. Nice big Shaolin, pull it back in time. Nice. Bring it back, bring back the lazy boy. Another bar hop. We lost some uh, points there because it was a repeated trick. Alright, backflip. Bring it around. Nice. A lot of points there towards the end. Got a 71. All right, so a good turnaround run second time through there, but I think we're still a little ways down the order. Yeah, P5, so we got to pick it up here. Can't get 103 points to win, so we're just going to do what we can here. Couple can-cans. And then we'll go. Nice long heel clicker for that one right there. Oh, didn't mean to backflip, but I'll take it. I guess that's some good points right there early on to get to 16,000. Nice little combo trick right there. I know it was a repeated trick, but works out still. Stop doing can-cans. Stop doing can-cans. <laughs> Ridiculous. Another long bar hop. I'm trying to do something different than these up-down tricks, but I can't seem to get the guy to do it without... There it is. There's enough for the can-can. And knack-knack. Extending it out a little bit. Not an ideal trick. All right, let's get another backflip in here because we got a good combo right now. There it is. Nicely done. Went down in uh, the combo realm, but that's okay. Come on, do something. I'm pressing so many buttons. Okay, one more backflip just to at least get it around and get some more points right there. One more. Nice, all right, we got one little trick there in the end. And a 78, so we kept going up the whole time. Still not the best though, but we did get third overall, so there you go. Look at that sweet, sweet mullet. All right, so freestyle competition completed. It wasn't the best, but Still learning the ropes. So we will go to, oh wait, there's still one more event, right? What is the last event? Scripted trick list. Okay, so let's bust this out and then we'll do some racing. All right, so lazy boy, we gotta do that first. And did a double grab by mistake, so we're gonna have to restart. <laughs> yes, uh, my apologies there for not paying attention to which one I was pu pushing. All right, so down two on lazy boy. Heel clicker. And a coffin. Nice, okay. Superman double grab. 
We've already done it once, but we gotta do it again here. No, no, go. <sighs> Dang it. All right, well, we tried. We'll go back to uh, our PDA and see what's going on here because they are pinging me about something. What's up, man? Those are sick tricks you've been pulling off. A few of us are going to the Everglades for the weekend. There's some great lines and jumps at the spot. Hit us up if you think you're ready. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to events first. So let's go to events. Yes, leave this, go to career events. Freestyle, free ride, motocross. All right, so we're all this stuff. I want to do supercross if we can. So we got the 125, 250 West, 250 East, 250 Masters Series. So we'll do 125s to start with. Oh, look at this lineup. Millsaps, Bartram, Burroughs, Hewitt, Vogel, Crossman, and Vol. Here at Los Angeles. Welcome to sunny California for the showy Supercross of Los Angeles. I'm Cameron Steele, and this is the opening round of the series. This new event is being held in the downtown stadium for the first time. The course is in great condition with lots of opportunities for high speed and big air. The last three jumps, two tabletops and a triple are the make or break sections. The riders are out, let's go down to the action. All right, here we go. Now we're doing some racing. And we are off and racing. Let's see if I can get the whole shot. Uh, I'm just gonna get it. Do some tricks while we're out here having a good time. I don't think we actually need to do tricks or anything like that, but it's always fun to throw them. Any Bartram leading this race. Oh, we got together in the boat now. So the whoops uh, are a little bit wonky in this old game. It's still kind of cool to see how they chose to replicate them way back when. Three lap race, see how big the lead we can get pulled out here. And honestly, like, I feel like even like the UI, the HUD, whatever you want to call it for back back in this time is also very solid. Like, it's a good look. Easy, easily readable, understandable, all those things. It's just like a good, simple way to get people into dirt bikes, I feel like, was this game. All right, so they're at 47.8, pulling out a nice little lead here so far. Do the whoops. <laughs> just like... Literally humping the bike as we go through the loops. Not even really any technique to it. Just lean back and go. And we are cooking though through these sections. All right. Oh, don't go down. And one more lap to go coming up. What do we run this time through? It's like a pretty good lap time here. A 42, 43.08, so definitely cooking. Carry some speed through the outside of that corner. Flying into these whoops, looking like Christian Craig out there. Oh, tried to do a little like kind of flick scrub and just went left instead. Whoops. That's another thing too, is that this game is kind of old enough that the scrub didn't even really exist this point James Stewart had basically done it the year before so I can totally understand them not really putting it in the game because only one person had really even tried it so it's kind of funny how that works too everybody just straight airing the jumps or throwing tricks like Travis would do all right taking the dub easily in the end Bartram Millsaps burrows behind me and oh, I guess it looks like we just have to go through this whole series. So I might as well finish this whole series off because it's pretty easy. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Puma MX. So we now have Puma MX as a sponsor. That's cool. Nice. What else do we got in our email? Uh, great news. Team Puma MX is in. And another great result. So we'll go to that next race in just a second. I'm going to go to our rider though because... Since we have Puma involved now, can we get some uh, different stuff? Yeah, there we go. Puma, way down here. Cost $10,000 to get this. I do not have $10,000 to get that jersey, unfortunately. I have $10 in my bank account. So Puma sponsoring, but clearly this is not a very good deal for us because they are not offering anything. Just have to buy all the gear and stuff. It's a little ridiculous. All right. Go back here to our email and uh, continue on with the racing. We're here in scorching Arizona for the Alpine Star Supercross of Phoenix, a 
Free track has been designed for this year's series. The riders will have their throttles pinned wide open around this one. There are lots of rhythm sections here in high carvable berms, which will separate the best from the rest. Riders will have to watch their heads carrying big air into the tunnels and carefully skim the whoops. This will be a great race, so sit back and enjoy the action. <laughs> These track designs too are awesome. And I'm trying to allow it to, uh, you know, have Cameron Steele basically say all of this dialogue and everything like that, because I'm sure you guys are also tuned in to see what the dialogue and everything like was like back in the days. Kenny Bartram's going to rip the whole shot right here. Try to get up the inside and make a little pass, bump and run move right there. So got to step on, step off, or just go to the left and avoid the step off right there. Triple. And interesting too how like Phoenix Stadium, as they show here, is definitely Chase Field in Arizona. Like it is completely very accurate to what it looks like. So, oh man, yard sale. Lost a lot of time in the whoops, but able to pick it up and keep going. So inside looks like we go step up, step over, or outside just big double. Very speed through the berm here. Low line down here on the left side of the track. It's interesting too how like the jump shapes were too. They they clearly made some sections that were easily low lineable. A little bit of momentum in that corner. All right, so got a good little lead working here. Crushing it in this 125 series. Out to a nice little lead here at the end of the first lap. Keep forgetting <laughs> what my brake button is. I'm grabbing the trigger, but it's B on the controller right now. Yeah, let's get over the top of that jump right there. But yeah, I mean, like, look, physically this game, with the phys uh, physics in it, they're... I don't want to say like scripted with a lot of it, but like very scripted animations and like kind of, I don't know, forced movements and stuff like that. But here we are all these years later and it's still a lot of the same stuff out of these new games that we're getting. And you could be frustrated by that, but you could also be like, I don't know, give praise to Acclaim Sports and, and all the people that put this game together for how great of a game they put together decades ago at this point. This looks really solid. Got a nice comfortable lead working here on the 152 machine. And I love too how they like they start you off on a bike that isn't it's not a real bike, you know? It's like, hey, you're on a whatever this gray machine is. It, it kind of looks like a Honda a little bit, but it's not. And then like yeah, you gotta work your way up to sponsors. You gotta get a Suzuki sponsorship or a Honda sponsorship or Yamaha. Or whatever, if you wanna ride those bikes. And that to me was one of the coolest parts of this game is that there was, it felt like there's real career progression. Even if the AI was too easy or whatever, which, you know, they're, they're pretty simple. It's not too difficult to beat them. They, they do get harder, but right now it's not too hard. It, it was just nice to have like an actual career, career progression. Felt like you were playing a game that was getting you somewhere with the story instead of just, oh yeah, you're just like leveling your character up. Congratulations. No, there's like real dialogue and sponsors and all this other stuff involved. And this is an 18 year old game. Kind of crazy. Off the track, we'll get back on. 28 second lead. So I think we've got these guys pretty well covered off. Or Davey Millsaps just looks like he's not even riding that well. I guess he was a rookie way back in the day when this game was made. Obviously, like, the, the marquee people in this game, like Chad Reed, Ezra Lusk, Tim Ferry are all in this game. Another win for us. Cruising right along. Working towards wrapping this championship up early. All right, on to Denver. We're here on a freezing night in Denver, Colorado for the Zoomy Supercross. We've got a treat for you with fast speeds, dangerous triples, and big, big air. This tightly designed course is full of twists and turns that really test the riders as they go from wide open one second to hard on the binders the next. This is a race you're not gonna want to miss. All right, the Zoomy Supercross. <laughs> I love that every uh, Supercross in this game has a sponsor associated with it as well. Kind of funny. All right, are we gonna rip a whole shot this time? Yeah, whole shot. Kellen Brower, ripping it. Suck on that one, Kenny Bartram. I love too how uh, kind of OP in this game they made the freestyle riders. 
David Millsaps would definitely be faster than Kenny Bartram at this particular time of their careers when this game came out. But uh, hey, Kenny Bartram, he's a freestyle dude and Travis Pastrana's friend. So of course, in a game that's heavily centered around Travis Pastrana, they're going to make all of his buddies absolutely rip in this game. And I don't mind it. All right, getting a little bit more technical with the Supercross. Got a double, triple, double option here. Banners on the inside we got to avoid. It's a cool track though. Imagine if they made something like this in real life. Huge raised section of the track like this. Right, coming down the hill. Got a low line up the left side. We can jump over the back side of this and get enough speed to leap this big triple jump into the corner. Definitely remember that from back in the day. I mean, when this game came out, I was 11. So there was, oh, there was plenty of time to grind this game out and pretty much spend way too much time in my room. It's funny, my mom actually came across an old journal book that I wrote way back in the day. There's a lot of me playing PS2 entries in that journal. I'm sure a lot of them uh, also had me playing MTX Moto Tracks. Short on that triple right there. We got a nice lead working as well. Seven, eight second gap. This 125 feels so slow though. I'm just like wide open everywhere. Really haven't let off the throttle once. Now to a 14 second lead, pretty easily pulling away at this point. Right there, almost into that notch. That little notch, if you can land right in, it's just crisp in this game. How about when you take off on, on these jumps, too, and the rider does, like, this little, like, kind of stretched out pose? Like, again, for the time period, really realistic. Like, good-looking, kind of, you know, leaning over the front of the bike. A little weird, like, kind of flow with the bike as well. It's, it's not really something you can control. It just does it on every jump, and it always kind of leans, like, the same or similar direction. But... It's just another little detail added to a game like this where you're like, man, it actually looks kind of realistic when they're jumping. It's not like they're tucked down up against the bike all the time. Like they catch air and they do something off of the jump that makes it look like they're floating through the air instead of just sitting on the bike all awkwardly. So shout out again, Acclaim Sports, the great right work. Taking the time necessary to make this look as realistic as it could for the time. Working the last lap here, only about half a lap to go in Denver. Round three of the four round 125cc Supercross Championship Series. But there's so much to this game, like 125 Supercross, then 250 West, 250 East, 250 Class Supercross, and uh, and then all the motocross stuff as well. And it's the same thing, I believe. 125 Series, 250 West, 250 East, and the 250 Motocross Championship. You kind of work your way up through the ranks, you get sponsors, a bunch of freestyle competitions. Then you have to do all those challenges on each of the compounds as well, which is why I haven't wanted to go to the Everglades yet. We'll do that in the next video. There's so, so much to these games. Just a backflip over the finish line. Nicely done. And another win for us. All right, have we wrapped up the championship around early? Not quite. Kenny Bartram keeping it close. Another great result. Another $11,000 earned. Well, folks, what an event we have for you here tonight in Minneapolis, the Vans Minneapolis Supercross. This track has the biggest air and the toughest rhythm sections. The over-under bridge section should be the place where the race is decided. This will be the ultimate test of a rider's abilities. One mistake here can not only cost positions, but the whole race. Prepare, hang on to your hats and glasses. Something really special is going down. All right. Now this Minneapolis uh, is, I believe, the Metrodome, right? So it honestly looks a little bit kind of like the new stadium as well with the way that they built this. Uh, I know they're not trying to make it look exactly like the Metrodome back then, but like the open air side of it looking into the city, like did they know something about U.S. Bank Stadium before it was built? Kind of crazy how that plays out. But uh, again, another cool track. I like the low lines that it offers. It got has a bunch of ruts in the jump faces and different things like that. A couple tunnel sections as well. Man, they loved using these tunnel jumps in 
this game. But I don't mind. It looks pretty aw awesome, I think. A couple straightaways through here, carrying momentum through the switchbacks. And up this big triple jump, downside it so we can double up into the corner with ease. Nice. Carry speed through this outside line. Jump up, jump up, and jump down. Step on, on, off. Then this big jump right here into the tunnel section underneath the riders going over top of us. Big triple jump out of the tunnel, big tabletop. And I think this is a big, yeah, like table over single option as well. Oh, inside rut. Oh, I missed it. Finally, we have a rut. <laughs> I knew that there was ruts in this game somewhere. I was just wondering how long it's going to take until we found one. All right, finish line jump. Two more laps to go. And then we'll call it a nice long video here to kick off our MTX Moto Tracks career. I think I'm going to try to do like about a series or maybe if we get into eight round stuff, maybe half a series for each video. Get a couple of the freestyle competitions and other things like that involved as well. Do the compounds, all kinds of different stuff. Really utilize how unique this game is to its advantage and uh, show off a lot of the fun career mode aspects of it. Like got to remember not to forget to save the game because that's one thing that didn't quite exist back here in 04 was autosave. You had to manually save the game each time. This is not a good look right here. Can we get it turned around and get back on the racetrack? Taking way too much time. But gosh, man, just so cool. So many different sponsors involved. I would really like to know, talking back at the, uh, you know, if we can find someone who made this game, helped develop this game, how they were able to get so many sponsors involved. Like, how they made these contracts work. They obviously had a lot of riders in the game, but then like, you know, they didn't they didn't make a, an official series out of it. They didn't follow the real life tracks or anything crazy like that, but they made some fun tracks out of real, you know, names of tracks and stuff like that. And then they have all these official riders, all these official sponsors. It's a really fun story mode, like just a good complete game, I feel like for its time and wish we had more stuff like it nowadays. I really feel like it would be a way to keep people's attention a little bit longer. Oh, brutally bad lap. Went from a 118.5 to a 133.2. And OJ'd that triple. All right, working last lap here of Minneapolis. Get this triple up the hill. Got it. This is also uh, not a, really an introduction because in Superfly it also had preload. And I think MX2002 had preload as well, but... Uh, I would say this is like a more introduction to seat bouncing preload, which I don't remember. I don't believe those games had. I think you would hit, uh, you know, R2 or right trigger or whatever to do the preload. This one was uh, leaning back and leaning forward to essentially seat bounce, but it's really a preload meter on the right hand side of the screen. You can see that's half preload. Come through this corner, I'll do a full preload over this one. So all the way back and forward, big time full preload to get maximum air. Out of this corner, big jump out of this one. Another table. We'll throw a little can can on the last lap for fun. Got a 33 second lead, so why not? Nice. Now, like, even that rut, it actually kind of works. Like, you can lean into it, it hooks, doesn't give way. I like it. Like it a lot. All right, backflip the finish line again. Oh, yeah. Quickly. Oh, uh, we went down. All right, got the dub in this one. Perfect season in the 125cc Supercross. Series ranked first. And we get the trophy as well. Look at Davey Millsaps there on the right. Young Davey. All right, so we got a lot of stuff coming in. We've unlocked a new movie. We've unlocked the Davey Millsaps movie, so we go check that out a little bit later on. We got the four-stroke bike. Great racing out there. Proud of you. Uh, maybe it'll help. So we got a new bike, test the bike out for you to try. It's a 250 CC four stroke. They give you the advantage in the 125 series. Not all the riders use them. It's a little heavier than what we've been riding, uh, but it's got a little bit more horsepower. So we go to the bike shop and bam, there you go. 250 CC F, whatever type of bike we got right here. But you can see again, braking a little worse, engine a little bit better. Suspension's about the same. Pretty cool. Go back to our emails. What else we got? Um, 
Travis Pastrana says, I'd like, I'd say you've got the 125 Supercross under control. Move up to the 250s whenever you're ready. Good luck from Travis. Our guy, Nigel Reigns says, you're a star. Want a bunch of this? You earned $43,000 during the whole series. And then Transworld Motocross latest news. <laughs> Chris Alton, Transworld Motocross correspondent reports. Another exciting series, weekend, 125 series news. All about me, official series standings. That's that's awesome, man. Like, look at just the depth of this game. Go check out our bike uh, one more time here. Uh, or not bike, we want to go to the gear. So we can change a couple things about the gear now, right? So go to our racing outfit. We'll go to our shirt. Our riding jersey, I believe, is where we want to go. Yeah. And then Puma, our sponsor. Got the cow jersey for 10 grand. We'll buy it. Got navy, red, or black. I think we'll do navy. I like that navy look. Go back to our pants. Got riding pants. And we got to buy the pants now for $10,000. Can you imagine if pants were <laughs> that much? <laughs> In real life, looks like they messed up the economy scale a little bit here in this game, but that's okay. Do we have a boot sponsor yet, or are we still stuck? We are still stuck with our generic boots. Do we have Puma gloves? It's like, no, it looks like we still rock the standard gloves, so we'll change the color on them at least, so match a little bit better. How about, how about white? Just go white. There, good look. And go back to our street outfit, because I want to go to our shirt options. I think we now have a Puma shirt. Yeah, Puma shirt. A lot of different Puma shirt options. Hmm. Which shirt do we want to run here? Maybe that light blue. Looks kind of good. We'll, we'll leave it at that. All right. So this is the first, uh, first little go through of our career mode. Oh, forgot I need to save the game. Can't forget that. Override our career. And done. All right, first look here of the MTX Moto Tracks career mode. Long video. I apologize if you uh, had to sit all the way through that. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep grinding away at this career mode and showing off how awesome this game was for how long ago it was made. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. As always, please let me know in the comment section below anything you'd like to see different, anything you'd like to see in the next videos uh, that are coming up. Uh, would you like me to tackle freestyle, uh, more motocross, more supercross, more of the um, you know, compound scavenger game modes that are available? What would you like to see? I'm happy to do it. And yeah, off to the races we go. So thanks guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.